Hello, today we are going to demonstrate Flex Utility Non Premium. We're going to go over the latest features and how to use all of the filters and the settings. So, the first thing we have to do is go into Settings Accessibility and we have to enable Flex Utility in Accessibility. We're going to click Use Service. You will, you'll receive this pop up notification. Um, these are the permissions that the app needs in order to run, in order to determine what's on the screen, and in order to refresh and swipe. So we're going to enable that. And we're going to go back to the main screen of Flex Utility. Uh, the first thing we have here is hide buttons. And what this will do is when the buttons are on your screen, you can check the box and it will hide the buttons. When this box is checked, the buttons will not show at all. So if you want the buttons to show, you have to uncheck the box. Okay, gonna close that out. And then we have our filters here in the set mode category. We have station code filter and hours filter. Let's check out how to use those. First, we're gonna go to enter station code. We're gonna click on that. And you can see the description is interstation code example UOR1. So UOR1 is uh, for Prime Now Blocks in Portland, Oregon. And so let's say if I only wanted Prime Now Blocks at this particular station, I would enter UOR1. And you notice the capitals. That is how it appears on the app. So you want to enter your station codes as they appear on your app. And then, so let's say, uh, so we've got Prime now. Let's say I also want logistics blocks. So I'd enter DPD1 capitalized as it appears on the app. So with this, we have UOR1 with a comma. That's the first value. The second is DPD1. So we will only accept blocks with these station codes, meaning I'll only get Prime Now and Logistics because those are the station codes for those stations. I won't get any other kind of block that has a different station code. So I won't get restaurants because I didn't put it in my filter. I'm only going to get these two, which are the two I want. Got it? We're going to set OK saved you can see the pop-up said saved and if you click here it will refresh the view so your mode will say view refreshed mode get blank hour blocks with uor1 and dpd1 that's exactly what we want we only want those two station codes okay so well let's say i only want three and four hour blocks Let's go ahead and go to the hours filter. Let's enter three and four. First, we've got three and four. So the app will only accept blocks with station codes that I've entered. And with the hours filter, it's only going to accept three and four hour blocks. Not two hour, not one. It'll also accept three and a half and four and a half because half hours are always included. So by entering three and four, I'll only get three and a half hour blocks, three hour blocks, four and a half hour blocks, four hour blocks. Got it? Okay. Let's go ahead and refresh the view again. And now you can see that mode right here says mode, get three, four hour blocks with UOR1 DPD1 exactly what we want we only want those kinds of blocks we've set up our filters the app is going to make sure we only get those kind of blocks perfecto okay let's look at the other settings right quick we have block alert and now what is this alert sound get alert sound when blocks appear what that does is when a block shows up on the app that match your station code filter, it will play a sound. 
let's enable that and block log what uh, block log will um, say block information to a log so it's anytime a block shows up on the app that matches your station code filter it will save all of the information about that block to a log which is located here when you click block log uh, the first entry is an example time hours pay block type time scene so when I see a block um, on the flex app and I have block log enabled it will record all of these things listed here about a block and and you can also long press on a log to delete the log so it says are you sure you want to delete this log I'm gonna press OK boom the example log is gone there's nothing there let's go ahead and go to the flex app see if we can get something okay so I've enabled block log I have my filter set um, let's go ahead and go to the flex offer screen okay so as you can see I'm on the Amazon flex offer screen and my buttons have shown up as you can see I press tap and it refreshes and every time I press tap it refreshes and swipes okay so it's swiping uh, you can see when I when the refresh button sometimes it goes dark that's a swipe but it's swiping every time you just gotta trust me on that and what the blocks button is doing is it's checking our filters it's checking the screen it's checking here on the screen where blocks show up and it's saying is there a block in that area that matches the filters the station code and the hours filter if so the blocks button is gonna click on that block and then the tap button after you click on a block the tap button will immediately swipe to accept the block and because we set filters we already know that the block that we clicked on is the type of block that we want because we set filters up to ensure that the blocks button only accepts uh, the blocks that we want right okay but you have to actually tap the buttons right so let's say I really want to get a block right now you tap the buttons really fast tap them rapidly you don't have to uh, strain yourself you know you know what I mean <laughs> just uh, just tap them uh, and what I really like about this is uh, it's much easier to rapidly tap using your thumbs and uh, the accessibility buttons have the feedback uh, sound and the ripple as you can see Okay, so we're trying to get a block right now, but unfortunately nothing is showing up. And remember, we set our filters to accept Prime Now and Logistics Blocks. So if either one of those were to pop up, uh, the Blocks button would grab it, and the Tap button would swipe it. Um, if, uh, say, a restaurant block were to pop up, it wouldn't have the right station code because I didn't put that in the filter so it wouldn't even mess with that block it would just ignore it right okay so now let's say we want to close the buttons they're in the way we can either go to the main screen and click hide buttons as you can see the buttons are gone they're no longer there and then we go back to the flex app oh no the buttons aren't showing right well you first you have to unclick hide buttons Go back to the Flex app, boom, there's your buttons. Uh, let's say we want to get rid of the buttons without going back to the, Fle to the Flex Utility app. You can just, you have to long press on X. See, if you just press on X, nothing happens. If you long press it, boom, button's gone. And that, when you long press on X, as you can see, it checked hide buttons. So when you go back to the Flex app, the buttons aren't going to show because you've hidden the buttons. You've told the app, don't show the buttons. So if you want them again to show up, uncheck, go back, there they are.
Okay, and we also have swap theme. So what you can do is go to the, uh, what do they call this, the action menu, the three dots on the top right, and just click swap theme. And as you can see, now we have big buttons. And they do the exact same thing, they're just bigger, right? Okay. Swap theme again, we got our small transparent buttons. Um, and you got the disable X button. Let's say you keep accidentally long pressing it. Um, so, as you can see, if you disable X button and then you long press on X, it'll tell you, you've disabled this button. It's not gonna do anything, right? Okay. So I'm pretty sure we've went over all the newest features. Um, I hope everything made sense. Of course, if you have any questions, you can go to the action menu and select submit feedback, which will take you to uh, the Google Plus community we have there. We've been receiving lots of great feedback there. Uh, I encourage you to join us and I hope this clears everything up. I hope you uh, enjoy using this app. And I really appreciate all the feedback we've received so far. And if you've got any uh, ideas for features, um, you know, we've a lot of these features you see right now are have been suggested by the community. Um, the app is very different from when it first started. It's definitely way better. Uh, I'm working right now on the version that has one button to do all the things that we've just explained. Um, I'm uh, in the process of rewriting uh, the premium version. So this version you just saw demonstrated is the non-premium version, which will always remain free. The premium version uh, will have an initial charge. Uh, appreciate you. Thanks for watching. And good luck catching blocks out there. I hope this app helps you. Peace out.